Welcome back. 22 minutes before 8 here on Morning Live. Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And in studio today, we discuss how true it is that women who have their first child after age 30 have an increased risk of breast cancer. Oy, okay, in studio with me, I'm joined by oncologist Dr. Devan Ramia to talk to us about this. Good to have you, Doc. Thanks so much for being with us. No, thanks for having me, dear. Is that really true? That is actually true. Um, it has been found that uh, women who have their first child before the age of 20, all other risk factors being, being equal, do have a lower risk of developing breast cancer than women who have their first child after the age of 30. So that is actually uh, true. That is a risk factor for breast cancer. Gosh, I had both my children after 30. So I, I suppose, uh, why is that the case? W what is the reasoning well, behind that? Well, the important thing, there's a few issues around pregnancies and when you have them. So the main thing is the lifetime exposure of the breast tissue to estrogen, which as we know is a, is a female hormone. So basically, um, the longer the exposure, the, the more high risk. Um, so it, it goes to the number of menstrual cycles cycles a woman has in her lifetime. Yeah. So the more menstrual cycles, the higher the risk. Um, so if women never have children, that's a risk factor. Uh, the more children a woman has, that it's actually preventative. And also things like um, early age of uh, starting of menstruation and um, a late menopause also uh, you know, are risk factors for developing breast cancer. Yeah. Then also there's other issues around um, you know, breastfeeding. Uh, if women breastfeed, they also lower their risk of, of developing breast cancer as well. Also probably because of pushing the, the hormones in their body more towards progesterone rather than estrogen. So that's basically what it comes down to. It's hormone balance in the body. All right. So when it comes to mammograms, um, when do you think is the best time to start actually having mammograms? Actually, recently it's a little bit of an area of controversy, but basically um, I think most people would still, most groups would still agree that, um, you know, women should start annual mammograms at the age of 40. And, um, you know, but in addition to, to annual mammograms at the age of 40, women still um, need to have uh, complete breast exams. Uh, annually from the age of 40, but from about the age of 20, every three years, um, you know, annual um, uh, ha should have a complete breast exam. Um, you know, but there is a small group of women who should start earlier, uh, who have specific risk factors. Yeah. Things like uh, if they've had radiation to their chest between the ages of 10 and 30 for probably another cancer. Uh, if they have a very strong history, family history of, um, uh, of breast cancer at an early age. Or if they've been diagnosed with a pre-malignant lesion in the breast uh, at an early age as well. Those women should just start with screening earlier. Okay, so whatever it is, you've got to go for those tests and very, very Definitely. regularly. If you catch it early, the it's chances of you being cured are, are higher. Exactly. So, so that's why mammograms are so important. They save lives, which is why we recommend them from the age of 40 every year. Yeah. Um, are there any pregnancy-related factors associated with a lower risk of breast cancer? So like we said at the beginning, um, the earlier you have your children, the lower the risk of, of breast cancer. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's the main one. Uh, obviously, then breastfeeding as well uh, lowers the risk. The more children you have, the lower the risk. So with each, each pregnancy, your risk of breast cancer does go down. Um, and yeah, so those are the main, the main pregnancy-related um, you know, issues around breast cancer. A question that perhaps you might laugh at, but um, are there other uh, cancers besides, um, besides breast cancer um, that do come out of pregnancy? No, definitely. You know, um, pregnancy reduces the risk of, of several other cancers. The most widely studied are probably the other gynecological cancers. Um, you know, the main ones being uh, ovarian cancer. So pregnancy does lower the risk of ovarian and also endometrial, which is cancer of the womb. Um, you know, it does reduce the risk of that also. Um, you know, probably also because of the, of the uh, reduced estrogen uh, balance in the, in the body during pregnancy. Um, regarding increasing risk, not really for, for any cancers that we know, except a very rare type of tumor called um, uh, uh, trophoblastic disease, which is, um, you know, uh, it is a cancer of the placenta or the tissues that would develop <coughs> in the placenta, but that's an extremely rare type of cancer and uh, very treatable even if it does occur. Okay, so we've kind of covered um, cancer in women, and particularly breast cancer. Let's talk about breast cancer in men. I mean, it's something that we don't really talk very often about, and yet there are many cases of breast cancer within, within men. That's true. It does, it does occur. 
Um, so, you know, it, it, it's much less than in women. Yes, Probably only course. makes up about 1% to 2% of, of all breast cancers. But it does occur. And the important thing, you know, we don't really suggest um, screening mammograms for men. But what we do, um, you know, suggest is that if they do pick up a lump in their, in their chest, they should definitely get it, have a look, uh, get it looked at. And, uh, yeah, men should be aware that breast cancer does happen in men as well. Yeah, but men, obviously, I mean, I think um, vigilance for men. Let, let's give some advice for men as well. We're we always telling women to check their breasts on a regular basis, go for mammograms, always look at that. What advice do you give for men? Look, if they, if they pick up uh, a lump in their chest, have it looked at because we know that, you know, breast cancer in men is, is as aggressive as in women. So the treatment is, is, no, is no different. So definitely, if they find something in their chest, find a lump, don't just assume, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah. You know, it can, can be breast cancer. There's issues of testicular cancer as well. Definitely, yeah. So self-examination for, yeah. for men, you know, they should definitely do that. You know, the testes should definitely be examined as well yeah. on a regular basis. Well, I think that's what's, I think you have to be vigilant with your body. You have to keep on checking. Always, always look, if there's anything odd, just have a check done. You never know. Definitely. That's the take-home message. And, you know, if these things are picked up early, you know, they are very, very treatable. Yeah. All right. Thank you for talking to us. And I think that's what we need to do is just get the awareness out there. Um, it is, of course, um, uh, a cancer awareness month, particularly breast cancer awareness month. But I think it's important to talk of all forms of cancer as well, just to be vigilant, check anything. Um, in fact, even in makeup this morning, uh, one of my makeup artists was telling me, yeah, there's something, it's like a black mole or something in your eye. You better go and have it checked out. And then I started panicking. I thought, no, no, please don't tell me there's a mole in my eye this morning. And I had a look at it. It was absolutely nothing but yeah. you have to be no, vigilant def definitely yeah, you know and if you suspect something see your doctor okay all right dr. Devon Ramea who is an oncologist talking to us about uh, cancer and being vigilant thereof just be aware of your body all right I'm scared to link are we going to